Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the channel. I need to get a video out today I missed yesterday. Happy Father's Day to all of you fathers out there. It was a good one here. Well, we stayed busy. You know, Kelly kept me busy today. But we got through it. I wanted to show you what is coming our way. Capable of 60 mile per hour winds. And uh, it looks like it's getting close to Lake Charles. So we'll be next uh, after that. And when I say busy, we have been in my office organizing. Putting all my books back together, getting this shelf. Tried to categorize everything. I got the magazines all together. I'll kind of show you what these magazines are. You know, bug out magazines. Just a number of different ones, and I keep them because I can go and I pull them out and I'll read them. That's not one, that was for something else. And Kelly picks up a lot of these for me. So whenever uh, she gets a chance to grab one, it's good to have them because some of them have a lot of topics in them that are very, very useful. You can pick them up at your grocery store. Run by the book section. You see one that is of interest, you know, grab one. Because they all they always have something in there that's worth being able to read. Oh, my sign. Given to me by nothing editing. Really enjoy the sign. I'll keep it put up on my bookcase. Of course, that's all my books and stuff for work. And I have all my gardening books. Uh, Nuclear War Survival Skills book. Really good one. So if you want to, during this section, just pause it. You can read what I have. And I have a few books here as well. This right here is something that was given to me by my doctor. And this is actually teaches you how to suture. Suture wounds. So I have that as well as a quick reference. If I ever need it this book right here map reading and navigation I'll always like to brush up on that as well this is just some of the training courses and stuff that I had to take just a number of things and a DVD and this shelf did not look like this earlier asked Kelly what did it look like Kelly a disaster, a hear disaster. That thunder out there? thunders coming in so anyway, I got all that cleared off, put my little trains back, because De Quincey prides their trains. We have a train depot a museum. I think I'll put it in one of my videos, so that's a bank right there. And then we drop down to a little clock that I have, which I really like that clock. And that horseshoe chair was my mother's. And when I was probably about 12 years old, I spray painted that, that color. And I still have it. And those rocks, my grandfather got these rocks from a trip he had when I was probably about 10 years old. My gosh, that's 40 years ago. And he brought them back, so I have it. And just a couple of pictures. My grandmother's old camera, which still works, but just the film is expensive. No rain yet, but the wind is coming in. So, anyway, what we have planned also today, because next week we're getting some really high heat. We have been staying in the 90s, 94s, 95s, 96s this week. And next week, we are predicted to be in the hundreds. So, a little safety tip, if you have batteries, anything that contains batteries that stays in your vehicle, you might want to get them out. So what I plan on doing is emptying my car. Of course, they want to get on the camera too. Um, and get all of the things, the components that could be messed up with the heat out of my vehicle. I take it in and out every so often, but I just don't want them to be suggest suggested to uh, really high heats inside the car because just because it's 102 degrees outside, it's going to be way higher than that. So, let's get started. Oh boy. I already took out my get home bag, which is inside the vehicle. I guess some are asking why you carry so much stuff. 
you can't put it all in one bag. Yes, you're right. But if something happens, always say my motto, always prepare for the unknown. So I have a number of different items in here. It looks like a jumbled mess because I had to go through it the other day and never reorganize it. And we'll get started and I'll show you as I take it out of the vehicle. First up is my medic bag. Got this bag from Dr. Bones and Nurse Amy. Just got the bag and loaded it up with the stuff that I needed. Really, really cool bag. It breaks into three. I'm going to take it out because I got a couple of pin lights in here as well, so I'll probably remove those. Anything that has a battery that could be affected with the heat. How did the battery charger get into my trunk? Don't know. It's got to come out. I think I'm going to get everything out of this trunk, no matter what. Another thing it's going to do is lighten that load. Fuel prices, guys. Fuel prices. And I think I'm just going to keep my get home bag with me. Make sure everything's up to par in there again. And get a lot of this stuff out of here. The wind is picking up. My gosh. Might not get done. Fire extinguisher is a keeper. But I'm taking it out for now so I can reorganize. Kelly's neck pillar. Taking it out. Hope I don't remember, not remember to put it back in before we take our trip. My survival blizzard pack. Get that out of here too. Another IFAC kit I got. I have a number of different first aids and trauma, everything you think of. It's got a uh, cat tourniquet inside it. Um, it needs to be on the outside of the bag, but I have it on my other stuff that's on the outside, so we're going to be good without it, with it just inside the bag. And this bag is just an essentials bag that I have for when I go to motels, I use, and other things that are in here. Um, God, what's in, I know what's in that bag. Uh, that's actually a, uh, a little sensor that I use. Uh, got a fire starter in there, a little mini survival kit. This right here and in this bag is a door jam for the door. A couple other little essentials that's in this bag. The rain is here. All right, so you're not gonna be able to hear me. So we're gonna finish up this video. We're gonna put a little music to you so you just don't have to hear the rain. Or maybe I'll just let you hear the rain. And my buddy's behind me. Good to have. This is actually a knife. Small edict bag. Large edict bag. A few of these, got them inside the car. Not this type. Good to have in your vehicle. I hope you can hear me. We're going to keep going. If you can't hear me, I'll put some music to it. This is uh, right in the rain, like today. And who doesn't have one of these? <laughs> Ain't seen this in a while. You know what that is? Smallest violin in the world.
Binksy, what are you doing? Oh boy, things got out of control. Got a few things in this basket. This is one of my Scorpion 2. Little battery pack. Works well. Gloves. More string. As you can see. But that's my box to put my stuff in. What are you doing? You spilled some on the floor too. Looks like your little kiddo is liking that box too. Siphon pump. Got this at one of the truck stops. I think I did a video of that one time. Good to have. My fuel jacket has got to get washed and put up. I like this old thing. Military tarp. Well, the rain is stopping. The wind has died down. When I walked inside just now to put some of that stuff up, I was listening to the police scanner and on Highway 12, telephone pole on fire because we did have lightning. But it didn't affect us. Okay, now to this box. Water filter. Voltmeter. Pair of goggles. Tick and splinter remover. Uh, this is a case for my nitrile gloves. If I ever choose to put it on my belt. Probably not. Probably just keep it in my bag. And hey, who doesn't carry an extra lid for your cup around? I don't know why that's in here. A pair of 511 tactical gloves. Oh gosh, and more paracord. Kind of looks like a junk drawer. Hey, maybe I'll name it my junk trunk. It even rhymes. And always keep oil in your vehicle. You may never know if you need it. A camelback bladder with pocket that you can put a few things in as well. I like this bag. Life straw water bottle, never used. This is my Stanley Fat Max. This unit here will air your tires up, jump start your battery. This thing works really well. I really like it. You can even have port, put, there's ports also right here. You can charge phones if you need to. I like this thing. It's got me out of a jam with a low tire before. And I did a jump start with it. So I can't complain. I keep it charged. Every time I go in and come out, y'all want to do some investigating. I know, y'all can't believe it either, right? This is my 3M half mask with respirators. Keep that in the vehicle. A just-in-case tool bag. Got a number of different tools in here. Flashlight, things that you may need while you're on the road. Don't forget the duct tape. Found another water filter. And in this box, I have some charger wires and things for job related. My uh, inspector stamps and stuff are in here. Same, this is all job related. Tape measures, a lot of different calipers and gauges that I use. Uh, DFT thickness meter for measuring paint, that is. And I even keep a kitty just in case I need some loving. No, I'm just joking. They're my little inspectors today. Aren't you? Got this for a present. It's got a shovel in it. A number of different things. Extensions. More tools. Keep my citizen's band radio with the antenna in here. If I ever need it in a bind, I have it to hook up and get it to working. Almost done. There they are. I knew they were somewhere. We've got another bladder bag. And this here is one of the gas masks I carry. And there's the other. What else is back there? This back here has a biological suit in it and I think another gas mask. Let's open it and see. Yep. 
gas mask as well. So that makes three of them in here. This is my Pyramid Outdoor Cooking System where you can set it up. It's got everything you need. Hey, I'm trying to talk here. And another blanket. This is a little auto cool fan that hooks to your windshield, your uh, window. You roll it up. And what it's supposed to do is start exhausting air from the inside of your car, pulling the hot air out. That well, was a good concept, but it doesn't work that well. But I'm going to try it again and see what happens. And let's not forget about the DeWalt crowbar. Always got to have an oversized crowbar with you, right? Okay, now time to get this thing vacuumed up. Wow, I can see the back. That was a lot of stuff, y'all. Okay, that's done. I'm going to go ahead and take my visor holder off, which holds a lot of my flashlights. A uh, voice recorder, knives, a pen, a number of different things. And it's also where I keep, well, my receipts go in here. Um, I have my maps. They're sitting in here for our local area and also Texas area and Mississippi because I travel there. Right in the rain pen, pen. We'll go ahead and get that out the car as well. As you see the side pocket, what I have in here, this is bear spray and also my other stuff. One of my mounts for my GoPro. Haven't used it much, but it's there. And I have another GoPro mount that sits behind my headrest, which points through the windshield. And I always carry my Yeti because when I go on them travels, it's good to have a nice cold drink or have some food in it. See that fedora up there? That's my first fedora. And then I gotta tackle this compartment. There's flashlights, there's everything in there. And I had someone ask me about my lights. Why do I have a light bar on the back? This is what it flashes, yellow and white. The reason for that, if I get stuck on the side of the interstate, but the way some people drive, you want a warning device. And if I got, if I go into a ditch or something and can't be seen from the road, <laughs> this may be what I need to do. Is have something that people can see. It has been removed. Okay, so you've seen what I have in my car. Don't forget about the communications, guys. As I showed you, the citizen band radio I have. Um, I try to think out of the box and what our communications need to be here as well. So this is just an example. And that's my ham up there at top. So we come down, that's my citizen band radio. Uh, just a number of things. One of these days we'll get a video out showing the communications. So everyone, y'all stay well, stay safe. And always remember, prepare for the unknown.